potential I think potentially and I think that's part of what you know the government campaign in September before the second wave was you know let's get everybody back to the office and I think that was about let's not have cities full of empty offices on an empty office space we need to kind of we need to get be getting people back into the office spaces um, and I think that was their concern is that actually or one of their many concerns was um, was you know people are going to get used to this way of working and so therefore we don't need that office space anymore and I think I can see a I can see a driver towards that. I can see a driver towards reduced office space, but I can't see that every organization will go fully remote because I don't think it works for every organization. In fact, I think it, it, it works for probably a small majority of organizations. It works particularly well in software type companies, in, um, in people working in that kind of technology digital um, kind of space, it works very well. But where um, where you are manufacturing something or where you are, you know, providing a service to someone, there's always going to be a need to have a kind of physical space for people to go to. So I can see it reducing, but I can't see long term, you know, no one ever works in an office anymore. Um, but what I think what my hope is that people, less people will be all in an office at the same time because that's what we always do. It should be actually, you know, do I need to be in the office today or not? No, I don't. So I'll stay from, I'll work from home today. Um, or I choose to work, you know, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Thursday, I'm in the office. Tuesday, Wednesday, I'm at home. You know, the having that choice for people to kind of be able to have that flexibility in their life is what I'm hoping will happen. Um, but yeah, I can't I can't see us getting rid of the, the office entirely. Um, I am... Um, I did a, a change piece of work a few years ago, which is probably where partly where this passion came from, um, and that was all about kind of designing the workspace to be to kind of be more aligned with what people actually use the workspace for. So they created, you know, collaboration spaces. They created um, kind of collaboration desks. They were still desks, but instead of being rows of desks. It, would have, it was like a circle where you all faced inwards to each other and then had your desks around it. They had quiet space areas. So it, if you you know you needed to go and sit and do a focused task, you could go and do that. They had like breakout one to one desks and it was just well, not desks, even they were kind of just seating areas. Um, and it was just designed around how people use the workspace. And I think that hopefully, as you say, that's where we're going to in the future is let's think creatively and imaginatively about how the workspace is going to be used in the future rather than just let's have banks of you know rows of desks where you just go and sit and do the same thing that you could be doing from anywhere else. Mm -hmm.